In this module, we shall look at risk management in the context of sukuk structures or sukuk as a mode of finance as well. Sukuk is a hybrid kind of structure as uh, we should know by this time because we have spent considerable time on sukuk structures. We know that there is a musharaka based sukuk, there is a mudarba based sukuk, there is ijara based sukuk, there is murabha based sukuk, there are some sukuk based on salam and so on. So different sukuk structures have different risks and risk points generating that risk. Overall risk is calculated by ratings agencies. Whenever someone, an obligor, for example, would like to raise more money with the help of Sukuk, the issuer, the SPV, would issue the Sukuk. If this is a large transaction, then the market players, i.e., investors, would like to look into the risk profile of this security. This is normally done with the help of credit rating agencies or ratings agencies. So these ratings agencies, they would look at the whole structure and all the things related with this, with this and they would come up with a rating, risk rating, which could be AAA, which could be BBB, which could be BB minus and so on. Risk of default, for example, comes from the obligo. Ek to hoge overall sukuk ka risk profile. Then there could be the risk associated with obligo. Obligo is the party which is raising the funds, and the obligo actually may default. So the rating of the obligo becomes a need as well. To manage this risk, risk rating of the obligor is considered and in case of excessive risk, a third party guarantee may be required. So I have identified this risk and the possibility of managing it by way of a guarantee, third party guarantee. Let us look at Sukuk Istisna. I am not going to share this Sukuk Istisna monstrous kind of uh, diagram. I hope that you know, that monster is in your head by now but, and keep that in mind and let's see what could be the possible risks in case of Sukuk, Sukuk Istisna. Delay in project, of course, is a risk. And we saw this thing in the context of istisna as a mode of finance. If that is the case, then the track record of the contractor developer must be considered. If the contractor slash developer has a bad reputation, this should be changed. Or the developer may be asked to present a plan B. All right, if there is a problem, what other solution do you have for us to receive the project from you on time? Market risk may also be there. And the obligor may not be able to sell the project to the retail buyer. And this is part of the sukuk structure, by the way. In that case, the rating agencies or anyone else who is looking into the structure from the viewpoint of investment, they would say that, okay, you will have to make sure that there are some advanced bookings on this project so that you are able to sell this on time. Or in certain cases, if it is possible, financing facilities by a consortium of banks may be packaged. So, wherever there is a risk, there is a solution in the context of Sukuk. By the way, these solutions are relevant in other contexts with reference to 
other Islamic modes of finance. Asset commodity pricing, we identified it previously. Now, it may be recommended to the contractor to purchase the raw material forward. If there is an asset commodity price risk, raw materials ki kimati bhar rahi hai, cement bahut uncha ja hai. In that case, you should ask the contractor to purchase the raw material forward. It could be by way of salam. Now, when you are bringing salam into the structure, salam has its own risk profile. So, you will have to manage that one as well. So, we have seen by now that Islamic modes of finance, they have their risks, they have their risk profiles, and there are multiple ways of mitigating those risks. We have spent quite a considerable time and quite a number of modules on risk management in Islamic banking and finance in general and risk management in Islamic contracts and risk management with reference to Islamic modes of financing. And I hope that all these modules have contributed to your understanding of Islamic modes of financing and risk management.